All right, um, again, it's important to note we are still holding this SMT. See how we're holding this SMT? I think we're going to get a pop here to open because this SMT is being held still. Um, again, I think whatever happens, I think eventually we dump. I think we go high, a little higher to dump. Is it 930 yet? It's 929. Okay, so here's open. Let's see. Again, I think this low is gonna be, this low should be taken out, uh, but I want maybe not. Okay, well this low is taken out before we actually broke above this, unfortunately. Damn. See, although like we we all knew this low is gonna be taken out. Again, this this makes more sense because now we're leaving this low resistance liquidity above. So like I'm still bearish. It's just it's hard to disregard this because this looks so clean so now that we took the low we can still come up and pop up here uh, no matter what we all we all knew the lows would be taken at some point but would have been nicer off the SMP okay so now I took the low we still have this low resistance liquidity above um, again there's no no plays yet in my opinion Yo, Harolito, what's up? What's your bias for today? Yo, good morning. I just hopped in on the shards. Hold on. Alright. Is that yours? Yeah. Wait, what'd you say? What's what's yours? Uh I'm bearish, but um I think there's a lot of clean highs above, so I'm just being careful of being bearish right now. But overall, I'm bearish. I don't know if you saw, but this was like the, this was yeah, the, yeah. I had that. I had that. Yeah, this was on a mark Sunday night. Mm -hmm. I'm or last Friday night. I'm like, I, I said, oh, what does this tell me? The draw is higher. But then I was like, wait a minute, never mind. We're 15 minute. I think we reject this or whatever. Um, this fit, this order blocks my first target. I, obviously, I want us to cut through this, but not a good idea to hold a full position through this. That's also my first target as well. I don't know what there. Also, uh, Asia high and lower taken, so. And DXY is bullish to me. Okay, this is probably an important fair value gap just because it's, uh, one of those V shape recovery fair value gaps. These are pretty strong. If we really cut, if we start to cut below this, then I'm gonna take this off my chart and disregard this. But I don't know. These this is too clean of a trend line not to break through. Dixie's holding the inverse daily volume imbalance. The daily. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. Yep. Not even a five minute close above. Okay, here's the. On this leg, if I'm right, we should pop through this without going lower. You can kind of see why why I drew this. It's just this V-shaped recovery uh, setup, which these are really strong. DXY, it's obviously noticeable this is on a fair value gap right now. Okay, we just hit discount. So this is something to take into account. Even though I want to take this fair value gap, this is still bullish to me. Which tells me NQ and ES are going to be bearish, but I, again, I would prefer the NQ, I would prefer some of this taken out first. See how like ES is just not really 
yes, has these equal highs above here, but this is, I think, what MQ wants at the moment. So let's see if this leg breaks it. There's the low resistance liquidity break. Wow. So this is what I wanted on YM too. All three are now uncorrelated. Okay, there's the NQ break. So now all three are really uncorrelated. YM did what I wanted, and Q did what I wanted, just not in the right order. Okay, so on NQ, as long as we take a decent amount of these stops, I'll say this high, then I'll start looking for short setups again. We don't even have to take this high, in my opinion. Just this high is good. Okay, so there's that high. Yes, we should hit these equal highs. See why it's against our rules to short with equal highs above. Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up to this. My index commentary. All right. So we we never actually hit this for a value gap, which is unfortunate. Oh wait, we did actually hit this though. It's a tiny one minute for a value gap. Interesting. All right, so we should break through these in a second. Again, I know we already touched them, but uh, should break through these. Remember, how I said like even though these are foreign before market, there's seven of them, so they're still gonna be pretty significant. If there's like two of these, I wouldn't really care, but there's seven. Now there's. Now there's nine. So we're 100% going to break through this. So YM took out all these stops here, and all we did on YM was bounce out this, which I'm hoping this is not low a day. Uh, my bias is right. It should not be, but I don't know. This looks I, – I basically said this is going to happen. This is why I had this marked and why I wasn't fully bearish yet. Again, I tell people if you want lower prices, you should probably expect internal highs to be swept first, which is why I wasn't really saying, oh, we're 100% we're bearish here, you know. This is an important fair value gap. If ES can take out these highs without NQ going over this fair value gap, that'd be amazing. 
I'm assuming this is going to work. Um, just a little height along. But yeah, if, if, if ES could take these highs without uh, NQ going over this, that would be awesome. This highest room. Okay, these highs are from 840, 835, 840, 840, 835. So we have a uh, little bit of a bearish SMT here. Okay, why? Because NQ swept these highs and yes, it's not, but these are so significant where I, I, I still think they probably take them out. See how this is getting used as an inverse? Alright, should take him out on this leg. Yeah, I'm hoping this is Judas Wing Patrick. This would be nice. I was saying if we can go over these equal highs and, and so we're now over these equal highs if NQ stays below this that's good for us that's good for a buy so we, we take out these equal highs there it is and see how I use that very very gives an inverse for a nice three point move This is this is very important to hold this because if my bias is right, we already swept buy side here, so we should not sweep it again. Being that this shot, if I'm right, this high should not be taken out again. If it is, I'm probably wrong, but that's okay because I'm not long anyway up here. This is where I'm just gonna wait to see if we get any sort of short setup. If not, I'm just not gonna play anything. I, I know the momentum right now is to the upside. You can clearly see how much NQ is stroke. So see how NQ just stops that in its tracks at this very valley gap and ES just pumps up, is still pumping a little bit. Okay, we just pumped to this very valley gap. A little tiny one, but still very valley gap. Okay, we really need to hold this. And then I want this low to be taken out again on ES or NQ. But you can see how we kind of stopped dead in its tracks. This is an order block as well. So, not the place to, to really chase short. This is going to be a big fair rally gap here in the S. I, I don't take fair rally gaps twice, but it's still, it's still important. Um, let's see, is there, uh, this high was formed at 8.12. And this high was formed at 8.12. So there's no SMT. Sell side's right here in NQ.
See, this is where we're, this is important. I like these equal lows here, and we also have triple equal lows down here, which is good for me. The XY doing what I want. Nice, nice momentum out of this uh, discount. Very, very light gap zone. Uh, I don't like how we're holding this. So remember how I said on NQ, it, I don't care. We don't have to sweep the highest high in NQ. As long as we take out some aspect of this trend line, which we did, that was good enough for me. This is good so far. We really need to break through this, or else I'm definitely wrong. YM is uh, pretty choppy here, I'm not, so I'm not going to worry about YM for the time being. We should hit the sell side and then Q. This would be the obvious target right now for ES. Come on, let's see these hit. Boom, there's the NQ target. Okay, yes, so ES, I still like to hit the equal lows because I see we keep forming equal lows in between. This is mean threshold, this order block, right? So I wanna see us cut through this and hit these equal lows as well. This is very, very precise up here. Wow. Does I see? Does anyone know? Is I see you tweeting today? I saw him tweet a little earlier. Okay, perfect. This is perfect. Wow. So this is what I wanted on DXY, which is good. Okay, we're getting very close to buy side now. Um, again, it's not a fair value gap if this is, yes, yeah, not a fair value gap I take, but because it's so high, but it's still technically textbook structure long fair value gap no matter where liquidity is. So, this is why I kind of had it marked. And you can see right when you hit discount, boom, bounce, which helped my uh, ES thesis a little bit. Okay, so we do have any SMT here, which is why it's kind of stupid to, to short here now in ES because NQ hit our target. But I think these are still worth noting. Uh, I'll check chat in a second. I keep forgetting.
Uh, Dion, do you still want to speak? I just saw your thing today. Perfect execution and call. Very, very nice, Lucky. Again, do you guys know this is my uh, inverse Fairvalley gap setup, but, 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 there are equal highs above here now. So, even though there's two of them, these are still pretty important because they're formed during market hours. Um, I obviously do want to see this hold as inverse and hit these equal lows, but I think that's a good time to get out of an ES if you are short, just in case. Nice, Lucky. Okay, so those highs are taken out, which is good. NQ is still, so all this was to me, in NQ is inducement, okay? I still want NQ to go down, but 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 it's is it really a good idea to short this? No, this is still bullish to me because um, this was inducement inside this bigger time frame for your value gap. So that being said, I'm not this is not telling me if we're bearish yet. DXY is still bullish for again for DXY being as bullish as it is, I'm still surprised ES is holding up here. Which is why I hate looking at DXY because DXY doesn't tell me anything. And you can see uh, YM held too. If you took that, if you took that short on NQ to sell side, uh, I feel like that should be your only play for the day. Um, I don't think it's worth playing anything else. Again, be because we didn't hit these equal lows on. ES, but we did on NQ. It's just it was a good idea to get out on ES when I said it was just because there is a bullish SMT, so you can't really fade that. Uh, now that we we swept liquidity once here, right? So we swept buy side here. Again, if I'm right, we should not sweep this high again, okay? Um, so I don't wanna see this high swept again if my bias is correct. Could it happen? Of course, but I mean, we already got like half the move I already wanted, so we don't have to complete the whole move. We go down here. We still got the nice bearish move, but it's just something to take into account. ICT says we are insertion destroyed for NQ. Yeah, I already know that. Yes, that's. Again, London did take both sides. Again, we should not re-sweep this high if my bias is right. We should just keep going down, which I'm hoping to hear, but uh, obviously this would be your first target. Search and destroy is when we just keep taking highs and lows and just reversing. I still, uh, yes, yeah, it's definitely noticeably stronger here and I think YM is holding it up okay you can see how strong YM is here to me this is not ES is holding YM up this is to me this is YM holding ES up because 
we're pumping our YM, ES isn't really pumping as much. And I think if YM wasn't pumping this much right here, I think ES would have already hit these equal lows. So that's why it's important to watch YM as well. So why I'm just reswept this high, which is uh, not good or not bad. It's just noticeable because we know we're in search and destroy today, right? So I don't like how we're holding these for value gaps. On, I don't like how we held this for value gap in ES. I hope we end up breaking through it at some point, but. See why I marked the mean threshold as order block now? Remember when I marked this? That's good. Even though I know there's equal lows here, this is still an important point, price point. NQ's been so much better. NQ it's, it's, has been hitting all its price targets much faster than ES has. And I think the reason being is because ES is so much more correlated with YM so YM could be going up and NQ could still go down but if YM's going up it's going to be very hard for ES to go down still ICT says <laughs> SCT says, ES is not delivering price in a manner I want to touch yet. Yeah, I agree with that. Metal, did you uh, take that short to sell side on NQ? Oh, I'm so frustrated. I, I tried like 10 times to, to take it, but it would never retrace to where I needed it. Damn. And then I'm like just watching it hit targets. And then I, I got like four break-evens because it just keeps smashing back into my entry before my target. I got one trade in that actually worked for like five points. Yep. Bullshit. Okay, so what a wick here. What the fuck? I accidentally bought that. Why? I had a limit order all the way down there I never removed. What the hell? <laughs> what you just got so lucky. Yeah, we just re-swept Southside and NQ. For a third That's time. retarded. What the fuck? Yeah, it's... I don't know what that wick was. So you can see again, because knowing we are in search and destroy, look what happens as soon as YM goes over this high. Boom, dump. That's crazy, what the hell? Pre-news liquidity grab. Uh... <laughs> I guess I don't even know, dude. I don't know what that wick was. It wasn't news. That's the uh, wick CE on the one hour NQ. Oh, okay. Why am I so choppy right now? Oh yeah, I see. I see. Again, I I want us to break through the CE, but it's still important to know. Yeah, I think dollar pump still. Let me hit buy side. And I think these equal these equal lows should still be hit. You can see how slower if if you ever see like NQ hit lows before ES actually does. Even though like ES could still come and hit these equal lows, it's just a good idea to scale a lot more of your position than you think. Because this could definitely happen, especially knowing today was seek and destroy day before the market open. Um, it's important to kind of realize, okay, NQ did hit the lows. Technically, like, if NQ and ES were exactly the same, here were here was the equal lo lows. Like, here are the equal lows I have marked on, on ES, but this is just NQ. So, basically, we did hit the equal lows, just we hit the low on ES. And knowing it, 
it's a search and destroy day. It's just a really good idea to get out most of your ES just in case. Um, and yeah, we're we're holding this for we're holding this too much. So and we swept this. So even though there are these equal lows on here, like um, again, this is why there's still a bullish SMP, which is why you want to scale here. ICT is bearish, by the way, guys. I'm not saying he's wrong or right. Um, I mean, mo half my targets already hit, so I'm not going to make a call here. I'm just going to wait for another setup, but he is bearish. Again, dollar is pumping and, and ES is barely even dropping. So I'm not sure why these are so uncorrelated at the moment. ES should pretty much be more down than it really is at the moment, which is, again, this is why I don't do analysis on the dollar. It's just stupid how uncorrelated they are sometimes. Uh, Vix, good question. Vix is at 17, very, very low. So that's why we're barely getting any volatility here. Yeah, I would start buying long dated VIX calls too as well. Or like SQQQ shares. If you guys took that short and IQ off open, um, I'd probably be done for the rest of the day. That was like the only thing that actually completed that I wanted. We just, I don't, that's why you take partials and don't hold for home runs every single time because even though I went down here, you can see just we never, we just swept this and we just went back up again. This is a fair value gap that because we, I still weave equal lows on ES, I do not want this to work. Same thing with ES. I do not want this to work because of these equal O's. ICT tweeted, this is the precise moment when neophyte traders lose themselves and impulsively enter to see if they can be right. Avoid this. There's nothing we can classify as high probability. I think it's high probability we're going down to these equal lows, but that's just me. Sit still. If this if this was more than five points, this is where I chase. This is where I chase shorts if this was more than five points, but it's not. This is two points, so I don't care. Come on. Why am I just huge, huge top here? Which we expected, I'm not surprised, but Almost a buy set on DXY.
can see how much uh, NQ is definitely swinging a little harder than ES is at the moment. For you guys who DM me, I'll check them in a second. Um, DXY. So, yeah, DXY just has pumped so much more than ES has actually dumped. Even though I still think, like, e ES should have already been down at these equal lows with how much DXY is pumped here. For you guys asking, why don't I do analysis on DXY a lot? That's why. Come on. Hit these so I can get on with my life. No way, NQ is going to hit the low again. So NQ hit the low again before ES even got to these equal lows. Wow. SMT after SMT. See what happens every single time NQ sweeps us low. That's on a search and destroy day. This is not good. Like if you're targeting equal lows, this is gonna be this is gonna make up for a lot of road bumps because NQ keeps hitting the lows. And on a search and destroy day, we know what whenever NQ would hit the lower high, we should go like go back. So it just takes a little longer than usual. I'm checking DMs now for the guys. Oh, by the way, I'm going to turn this on. I forgot. This is a really good indicator. This is a macro time right now. So maybe we hit this in the next two minutes because it is a macro time. This is 8.59.10. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to, like... This is a good indicator if you guys want to use it. It's just called macro tracker. And it kind of reminds you, oh, we're in a Mac right now. Here's where we might get decent volatility. So see how as soon as NQ swept these lows, you can kind of see ES is just lollygagging here. It's because just there's SMT after SMT, you know? So that's why you got to be careful in these you can destroy days. SCT did tweet this as well. This was a one, out, one minute volume of balance. I'm sure you probably saw that if you're following his tweets. The XY is so close. Now you have four equal lows here. So what this tells me is just this makes me more confident we're gonna hit these. Might take a second though.
Someone someone asked me, how are these Apex accounts so cheap? And yeah, they're so Apex is legit. Um, I think they just they know the statistics. Um, they know the statistics and how many people fail, so that's why they do so many discounts. And I don't know, something it's kind of fishy, but at the same time, it's like okay, I understand that you're gonna get a lot more people to buy these and fail if you do discount. I took it in ES and NQ weakness. Scott first target was no, it was no, it's not against our rules to short Ergen. It's actually because we swept the highs. It's it's actually this is a perfect short to hit these equal lows. So no, it's not against our rules. Oh, first trade today. So you took the first short on ES. What time did you short? Nine forty two. Yeah, you yeah, okay. It's fine short, it's just uh yeah, that's fine short, it's just once NQ took the lows, it's risky to hold short to these like even though this is a target, it's a lot more riskier to hold a short on ES to these equal lows because NQ did take sell side, which shows NQ is the weaker one, meaning this is the stronger one. So I mean, no, it was not against everyone's to short ES. It's just good to know that NQ at the time was weaker, which is why it hit south side and ES did not hit the equal lows. Also remember, like, if I was trying to scalp here and I shorted this volume and balance, the first target technically hit these equal lows here. Although we didn't break them, this is still your first target, this low. Um, obviously, ultimately, your target is, okay, I want these broken, I want to break these equal lows, but theoretically speaking, as a scalper, these this target was technically hit. Yeah, Ergen. So unfortunately for the trade, you took only the first target really hit, which I guess would be this order block, and the second target didn't really follow through. Yeah, what Mike said. They copy all the consistent guys. This is so choppy, damn. See how it's just, a, even though we have equal lows on here, see how every time we take out a low on NQ, it's just a really good idea to scale ES. This is what happens on these seek and destroy days. This is what ICT is talking about, about don't impulsively buy and sell here because these are the conditions we get. These are horrible conditions. And NQ, and DX Dixie is still pumping, yet what's ES doing? Not going down, so. If it wasn't search and destroy today, I'd probably try a short here, but I'm not I don't I'm gonna wait till the afternoon session to take a more high probability trade. And also what else just happened? The macro the macro just ended, so if you wanna try a short on demo here, I guess you can. Um because of the conditions right now, I don't think it's high probability enough for me to, to take on my from the personal account right now. So I'm just going to stay out. Okay, so there is buy center DXY. Again, I think we break through it, but 
This is just so annoying. NQ just keeps hitting the low and then going up, and that just causes the S to go up, you know? And this is also an SMT, remember? Remember what I said about my role with SMTs? I disregard the equal lows when we have an SMT. So, if you want to short this, do not short this on a personal account. I can definitely see this failing. The conditions are not high probability enough. Um, to me, this is a lot of momentum going up here. So, I would just stay out. No matter, I don't care if this works or not. I don't give one shit. If this works great, I just don't think it's high probability enough. If you want to accept the risk, that's fine with me, but I'm not. And, and ICT is literally saying the same thing right now on Twitter, which I'm not really, I'm not saying this because of him. This is, I'm just saying this off my experience. Let me just update this on, uh, So ICT literally just said, with DXY as firm as it is, ES should sell off from here and see a new low a day. So he thinks it sells off from here and sees a new low a day. Am I slapping this full porting short? No, I'm not. Okay. I, I've every single play I've taken of his has failed me. Um, I mean, I don't think this is smart enough. To, I don't think this is smart to take, if I'm being honest. He even said himself, these are not high probability conditions. So do you really want to listen to him right now? Probably not. And if it works, great, but might get wrecked with the same thing in the future. This is the uh, inverse volume balance. If, if we were to sell off, I want to see us cut back through this. I'm just gonna be tape reading for now. I'm not. I'm not slapping this short or anything. Again, like I said, if you want, if you're in a demo, that's fine. Demo trade this if you want. Imagine if I was allowed to trade Dixie. That would have been such a nice trade. See NQ. Look at NQ right now. What's NQ doing? Close above this fair value gap. That is obviously not. A good sign for spy or yes sorry we're just totally disrespecting the NQ for a value gap here again I, I, I literally I'll be hilarious if this fails I know there's a lot of people trying to full port short this right now I hope it fails Because then people are going to learn the lesson of why not the full port ICT's plays. Every single IC, every single play I've tried of his, I think they failed. Which I, I don't try his plays. It's it's pretty stupid. Okay, so what happened? NQ closed over this free value gap, and look, we're pumping right now. So, boom. Do you know how many people are probably getting destroyed right now? That's exactly why I said I want to take this. Again, do not listen to ICT. He's he's I. This is one of those times where I would think he'd be wrong, just because of what NQ is doing right here. And he said these are not high probability conditions anyway. So, that's why I'm doing. Why I'm is just. Why I'm is holding this order block. Um, Three minute. <clears throat> Again, I'm not I'm not gonna tape read something that looks like this. There's no point.
Okay, this is where I'd actually probably long it, but I'm not going to long it right here. Port long. What do you say? Full port longs. Uh, sure. If you want. Hey, did you get a options account again? Nah, I'm uh, I'm waiting till I turn 21. I'm gonna get IBKR. Oh, all right. Why'd you get rid of your old one? Because uh, I want I kind of do a, I'm waiting to do the IBKR. Um, mm -hmm. To do so I can unlimited trade. My old my old one was nice, but it made me not trade my futures account as much, and I wanted to trade futures more, so I just got rid of it. So I wasn't tempted. Okay, again, this is bullish. This would probably be a good long, like I said, but I'm not. I'm just gonna stay out for now. Again, like I said, if you took that short earlier today, I would really be done for the day because I know a lot of people just blew up their ports trying to short this because he because ICT said so. And if you did, you should not be trading. ICT's a neo fight for that. <laughs> hey, look how many people's accounts are getting wrecked here. <laughs> There's 50 more fails, and I bet you a lot more people failed on Apex today because people full ported that. <clears throat> Harley looks so bad here, damn. Harley to me is still bullish because we are still holding this. Yes, I agree. Definitely a lot. See how this was a textbook long? Again, to me, this looks like low resistance liquidity. Means we're probably gonna I took that long, long for about 10 points. Very nice, very nice uh, <laughs> metal. Yeah, this is pretty textbook. Only because you were talking up how, how wrong ICT is on this trade. Yeah. I mean, I I don't look at his tweets. He's been he's wrong a lot. And besides, we hit we hit sell side in NQ, like I said. Okay, bullish SMT. What I say about equal lows when even bullish SMT, I disregard the equal lows. So that's exactly what happened in this situation. So see we're holding this pretty nicely. <clears throat> I'm I'm not I'm definitely waiting until the afternoon session. Um, this price action isn't even bad, it's just it's a little tougher to read. Why is it always working or demo? What do you mean? Uh, I got class or else I would. I'll stream the PM session. Okay. <laughs>
I know Rix has got me. Always. I'm actually so glad that failed. That probably taught a lot of you guys a lesson. Not you guys in here, because I said not to short it, but a lot of people on Twitter. I think this is like the second time that's happened too. I think that's happened before and I was live and I was like, guys, do not take this. Again, this is an important high because if we re-sweep this, we'll probably go up much further. Not a fair value get by take, but this actually could work. Again, you can see seek and destroy conditions. We take out this high, so would you take this? Absolutely not. I'm just gonna watch in here. Yeah, well, I am definitely the one holding the S up. NQ want, yeah, you can tell NQ wants to go down, um, but just YM is very, very strong here, which I'm not sure why. We're just holding this trend line. There's not one single close below this trend line yet. And I still think DXY wants buy side, which again should be bears for ES, but. Um, Extended trading hours are again. Yeah, this is definitely seeking to shirt. This is all turtle soup.
Bad, bad, bad. What's up, Howie? Hello. Hello. Have you taken a trade today? Nope. Oh, are we gonna hit the high season? Probably. I gotta pull up the S here. Sorry. I was Alright, uh, ES, er, ES looks like we're about to go for these highs. Sure. Sure. Actually, I'm going to take back what I just said. ES does not look like it's going to do anything here. Um, don't... i, I got to be very careful what I say. <laughs> I don't think ES... Like, it doesn't look like we're going for the highs or lows. I just... it's. I think ES is doing... Telling me to stay out. That's what I'm seeing. Don't listen to me. Again, YM is just YM is the reason for ES doing this, by the way. NQ is definitely the much weaker index here, but yeah, there's the highs in yes. See, even though I was right, I just still don't think it's a good idea to trade this. I want to see this used as an inverse fair value gap to the long side if the price action was probable today, but again, like I said, it's not. I'm just tape reading, it's not worth it. See, this is why. Also, risk reward up here, not good. It's, it's crazy how much more bearish NQ is here. I think NQ goes back to this low. <laughs> What's it gonna do? So there's the buy side. There's the actual break of buy side of Dixie. Now this is important to know. This means ES could be bullish now. Because if D Dixie's breaking buy side, then what do I expect? Possible downside. So that's not good if you're short in ES. Equal highs to just to 250 50 here. So, yeah, it's important to note that DXY did just hit buy side because now that doesn't make me 
too bearish for ES, if you get what I'm saying. Or, or NQ, or YM. There's a lot of nice low resistance liquidity here. In other words, like a trend line. I want to type it in I sound theory so bad, like, like, oh, guns in my head, I think this happens, but I don't want you guys to impulse into anything. Okay, there's the break of the low resistance liquidity on YM, which I expected. See how I'm using YM right now to do analysis on EX? Okay, I see this nice trend line. What does that mean? We should slice through it like butter. NQ is... Ugh, I want to say guts in my head. I think we hit this low, but I don't want anyone doing any stupid shit. Yeah, remember what I said? I said at the beginning, I said it's a Monday, just this is our consolidation day, just so everyone's aware. It's not even this isn't even super bad price action. Like it's still it's still manageable. Just not ideal. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Fuck, I should have tweeted that. I should have said something in uh in that sound theory. <laughs> oh jeez, what a dump. What a dump, wow. So if you weren't aware, I was kinda hinting to that. Um uh, I did uh, chase that with very, very light size, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so there's sell side. We should, we should go hit this, I think. Should go hit it. I'm, either, I'm afraid to put this in that commentary because what if we bounce off the CE of this? That would not be good. Did we hit the 15 minute fair value gap now? Yeah, we did. Okay. Bro, Manny, I always see you come to chat and say, oh, I blew up my eVail account. And, and now I see you saying, YOLO long and eVail, I just bought. How is that? Well, that, that makes a lot of sense.
Actually, I'm going to change. I probably wanted that. There it is, come on. There it is, boys and girls. Metal, did you take that? Like I said, we should not have gone past this high. Uh, I, I think I'm thinking this is high day. Like I said in index commentary. Okay, we should not come back to this high today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't care. But today, no, we should not. Okay, so we hit that huge target. Yes, this is important to know. Um, if I were to YOLO long, this is where it'd be, but <laughs> it's kind of stupid because I want this to be hit down here, which this is this is the, the home run target. Lately, my home run targets haven't not been spot on. Uh, my home run target was 4,096. We just never hit it for whatever reason. Um, but we still get half the move of what I want. So this is pretty much the full move I wanted today. Okay, so now what happens after this, I don't care. Again, this is why I was bearish from this very early gap over here. So let this be a lesson for those of you who thought, okay, ICT says we should hit low day from here. Okay, which he was right. But for those of you who shorted that heavily because he's tweeted that, let this be a lesson to you that there's not really a textbook 2022 model there. We swept a low 9Q, right? And we had equal lows on ES. And we know we're in certain seek and destroy. So even with you shorting this, like, why do you expect this to work on a day like today? You could have shorted this to these equal lows, the target never would have hit. You could have shorted these, this to these equal lows, the target never would have hit. And then finally, the third time, it finally worked. Because of this is seek and destroy. So let that be a lesson to you of why you don't trade when Asia high and Asia low are being taken. Yeah, Zoru, I would not have entered anything either. I chased off of this candle. That was what I chased off of. Uh, nah, nah, 
plus EV. Um, I was just saying it's it's really dumb to. Based off at of DXY, I was saying okay, now that DXY is a buy side, this is where I'd start looking for a short setup, and it'd be dumb to now short ES. But then we got this candle, and then this candle, and I saw. 3k delta on my screen and I'm like okay yeah we're going down um, but yeah this was still a stupid short um, if you did not take the short good job you should not have taken the short this is a horrible short I just took it based off my footprint chart but um, yeah hopefully you get what I'm trying to say and we might not even get a short set up till higher um, and again, I don't do analysis on DXY a lot. It's not too correlated with ES. Just you can see we pumped all day, and ES just consolidated all day. Okay, this is not. I don't care what DXY does at the end of the day. I just kind of do some extra analysis on it for practice. Dream and equal highs here. See this? See this is right. See why I said this is right. Yellow long. If I were to choose a yellow long spot. Oh, so is this a discount? Yeah, we just hit discount. Also, even after, if you look at indexometer, even after I said, okay, DXY hit the buy side, okay, you can see what I said in NQ. I still was bearish in NQ. I said at 1041. Um, so, yeah, and YM. See, YM, this was this perfect exponent. See, this is why I pay attention to when we just grind up like this and create a perfect trend line. Like I said, I said we should probably slice through this with but like butter. Yeah, you can clearly see that's exactly what happened. That's why I like labeling those. All right, well, um, I'm honestly probably going to end the live stream here. I did record this one, so I'm posting it on my YouTube. If you want to go back and, and and watch it, you can. Okay, You can kind of see the order in which I said, okay, even though DXY buy side, you can see I labeled. I was like, okay, never mind. I think we're going to hit this sell side and NQ after. And I'm not saying this just because ICT said it earlier. I'm saying this because I don't care what ICT says. You didn't see it. You don't see me short when I see he said short. I said it would probably fail, and there's a reason behind that. Okay, this is going to be a very important fair value, or this is going to be a very important uh, fair value gap right here. Okay, if we can reclaim this fair value gap, I do possibly see more upside, um, but if we reject it, then I think we go way back down. Um, so I'll just wait till the afternoon session because what I tell people, what, what I kind of tell people sometimes is when I'm looking for plays on like a Friday night, okay, I'm not going to make my decision until that Monday morning at 9.30. I'll watch, I'll look at the market at Sunday at 6, 6 p.m. when it opens, but oftentimes when it opens at 6 p.m. or at the 
it's not going to be played out yet. So like yesterday, I said on ES that this was my dictation of, okay, what what's the bias today? So really, once I see us reject that, that means I'm short. But I don't know that till till after it happens, so until I wake up, right? So like that's kind of my uh, indication. So like right now, if we're still holding this by afternoon session, I will be bullish. But if we end up rejecting this and I come back at 1.30, then I will be bearish, if that makes sense. But while it happens, I don't care. Yes, exactly, Ergen. If we see a nice short setup out of this, I will not mind taking it. Although you got to realize we did just hit to sell side, which, yes, you probably could have turtle souped. Um... So yeah, that's kind of what my thought is for this afternoon. Um, YM is still holding a very key fair value gap here. It might take us a little bit to take out of this break out of this range, but if I see YM start cutting through this, then I immediately know we should be bearish. If I see us start pumping back above this high in YM, well, that's probably going to tell me we're going up. But again, these nice internal moves are decent. Um, just not not great to trade and you can see that by ICT sweet tweet this morning and if you did take that play where you said the short and you took a loss on it don't feel bad I used to do the same thing but even ICT for how accurate he is you don't want to listen to him I don't care what he says yeah soups are cool but they're soups are cool when they work but they're a little complicated to learn it first again you guys know you guys know this is what I want okay I want to see this black line and I don't know I I think we're halfway there remember how I said you want to scale you want to be out most at equilibrium if you if you think you're wrong well this we just said equilibrium if I'm wrong we will bounce here so this is really a spot where okay if you're not already short i'll just chill out for a second um but yeah this is what i want so yeah but it's definitely not a good time it's definitely a good time to be out of all most shorts at this time All right, well, that's it for me today. Does anyone have any questions? For you guys trying to be self-sufficient and you trying to learn, or you trying to be self-sufficient and you already have a good grasp of ICT, do not listen to what I say, okay? If you if you cannot block me out and block me out whatever I say, then you're, not, you're never going to become self-sufficient. Um, if you, if you can listen to what I say and be like, oh, he thinks this is going to happen, like maybe I'll just follow him along, that's fine. But don't base your trade off of everything I say. But if you're learning, of, of course listen to me because I'm not going to lie, I have a pretty good hunch on what's going to happen. Um, like I even just said, ICT's play would probably fail. So, I mean, it's fine if you listen to me, um, but again, I know some people want to do this by themselves sometimes, so it's good to practice blocking out the noise. 4144. Yes, this would be the next partial. Actually, probably this instead. 4148. It's about four points from. Eh, never mind. 4144. Yeah, this would be my partial because they're equal lows. If this was not equal lows, I would sell at the I would cover the consequent encroachment. But because these are equal lows, I'll cover here. 
All right. Well, that's it for me today. Um, I'll see you guys later. I will be recording this and uploading to YouTube, so make sure to watch it. But yeah, other than that, peace out. See you later.